Hello guys, welcome to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Here in this video, I will tell you the different types of shear failure in beam. Okay, when we construct a beam, then beam can uh, fail uh, in different way. Okay, so here I will tell you in how many ways a beam can fail. Okay, so there are three types. Basically, there are three types of failure in beam. Uh, one is diagonal tension failure. Okay. And another is diagonal compression failure and another is flexural tension failure okay so let us uh, uh, discuss one by one first of all the diagonal tension failure in diagonal diagonal tension failure occurs near the support where shear force is large and as compared to the bending moment guys here you can see the beam for example this is the support it means this is a column okay and this is another column okay now here we have put a beam okay this is a beam and you can see uh, we have to know that here at the in support of the beam the shear force is maximum as compared to the bending moment okay and uh, these types of diagonal tension failure occur at the end of the beam okay at the near support of the beam next point is the cracks form makes 45 degree with horizontal okay and these types of failure occur when the cracks in the beam occurs at the 45 degree okay less than 45 degree then these types of failure is known as diagonal tension failure okay and we have to know two things it these types of failure occur at the end support and it makes uh, below 45 degree with the horizontal cracks in the beam okay now let us move the second types of uh, failure the second types of failure is diagonal compression failure okay and these types of failure occurs at the span between the support and the mid span okay these types of failure for example this is our mid span and this is the in support okay these types of failure occur at the mid span between this in support and mid span okay uh, this in support at this mid span okay this types of occur at this region this area okay now at the section uh, shear force and bending moment so approximately equal value okay we have in previous uh, uh, failure we have uh, seen that uh, the shear force is uh, maximum at the in support but at this region the shear force and bending moment so equal values okay now these types of failure make 45 degree to 90 degree with horizontal and these types of failure make cracks in beam about 45 degree to 90 degree with the horizontal okay so we have to uh, know these three things for the diagonal compression failure okay it occurs at the mid span between the middle point and in the support of the beam and uh, uh, it make 45 degree with the horizontal cracks okay now let's move to our third uh, failure the third failure is flexural tension failure okay this types of failure occurs at the mid span of the beam okay you can see in this beam it exactly cracks occur at the mid span of the beam okay and here the value of moment considerably uh, higher than shear force okay and here at this point the shear force is minimum and the moment is maximum okay so these types of failure make exactly 90 degree with the horizontal and these types of failure occur uh, make 90 degree with the horizontal this types of cracks makes 90, de 90 degree with the horizontal so guys this uh, uh, two things we have to know these types of failure occur exactly at the mid span of the beam and makes 90 degree cracks in the beam with the horizontal okay and also we have to know here the moment is maximum than the shear force shear, shear force is almost zero okay so guys these are the different types of failure in the beam so uh, please like this video and subscribe my channel for new updates thank you